Welcome back to Nazareto's channel, my dear YouTubers. In this episode, I just really wanna do a quick review of this uh, power bank. I picked up this charger power bank from Costco, and this one caught my attention because of all the functionality. It has, uh, it's a 10,000 milliamp. And what I really like about it, it has a built-in wall plug and it has these wi uh, uh, wires already for the the um, for your iPhone and uh, USB-C for your other devices. You don't have to worry about having cables on you, like for example, with this charger. And it's all here, nicely tucked in. It's a good uh, 10,000 milliamp uh, battery. Holds charge quite well. This is the brand, it's called My Charge. On the packaging states 10,000 milliamp internal battery. Holds up very well, up to 54 hours battery life, which I really like. I usually use this Anchor, which I think, in my personal opinion, a very good charger. This is also 10,000 milliamp and it lasts me very, very long time. But I don't like to deal with this wire. Sometimes I forget these cables and that's why I like this one. When I open the package, right away I feel this texture, such a nice, uh, on the front here it has like, it's like a rubberized texture, so it doesn't slip from uh, out of your hand. On the back here we have like this uh, rubberized feel to it. I like the way it feels. Now this uh, part right here nicely comes out and it makes this clicking noise, clicking sound like It feels very solid, very well built. Just plug it into your wall. Uh, here we have a battery charge indicator. It has four lights. Here's the USB port. And on the side here, these are the cables. There's a little like a horn here to get the cable out. And when you push this uh, con uh, part in, it, it doesn't come out when you shake it, so it's nice. It's just like there's a little like plastic piece that's holding it in place. So this is our phone charger, lightning cable, and this is our micro USB-C. So it's quite good. Now I do wish these cables were a little bit longer, maybe go around and extend a little bit farther, but still it's good. It's so nice not to have cables like this, you know. On the back here, it says the model number, capacity, input, output. Of course, it says made in China, but it feels very, very well made. So I have this in your car, in your backpack. It's very good. You can just plug it into the wall. I can plug it in here. You just plug it into the outlet and let it charge. And while it's charging, you see these lights, they'll be blinking to tell you uh, if it's charged, fully charged or not. Now, I'm not gonna be charging this power bank with this unit right here because this is just demonstrator purposes. But it works. I like it, there's this indicator light. So when you plug in your phone, you have to hit this power button and then it's gonna be start charging it. And it's charged pretty good. It's charged at a pretty good uh, rate. On the box here, you can see here. So as you see here in the box, output three amp max. And also you can charge three devices at the same time through this USB port right here, through plug in your iPhone and plug in your other uh, device like Samsung or whatever you have with micro USB-C. So three devices at the same time, which is pretty good. And 10,000 milliamp uh, power bank, it's pretty significant, pretty good uh, power bank because from the experience, I've been using this Anchor for quite some time uh, and 10,000 milliamps, I charge my, my, my phone, my wife's phone, my daughter's phone, and the battery is still good at two, two little lights down. So 
10,000 more than enough. And also you'll see like on uh, Amazon or eBay, some of these power banks, they, uh, uh, the description will say that 24,000 or 34,000 milliamp, this is all lie. This is all lie. Realistically, this size power bank will hold about 10,000 milliamps. So I've been testing it for over two years, these uh, different chargers, the Anchor brand is the best but i don't like to deal with this cable and i do not uh like that this one does not have like um these uh prongs to charge it in the electrical outlet so this is nice you just plug it in and that's it also if you go on a long trip like you know you're driving somewhere and you have this but it's not fully charged but you want to have it with you um you can have something like this you know in the back of your trunk just plug it in and let it charge yeah the one negative side about this uh, my charge uh, power bank is that you cannot charge this thing uh through this port it's only through the outlet you have to plug it in into the ac outlet so that's one negative thing uh but other than that it's awesome it's awesome you don't have to deal with these cables you don't have to worry if you forgot a cable just plug it in and you have power on the go for your devices. Plus most of the places where you go, whether you're in the airport or somewhere else, you will have the uh, power outlet, most likely than the any than, you know, USB uh, outlet. I also want to show you how well this charger is built on the inside. Now, this uh, cover, it's kind of hard to get it off, but it has clips all over it. It's built very well because it's kind of hard to get it off, but nothing was damaged. Um, it's like a sticker here. Battery looks very thick. Very nice. Now, this is our micro board. This is where our resistors are. This is where the USB-C port is. So I'm going to get this battery out. I'm going to get this board out. I'm going to look on the other side, see how well it's built. But from what I can see here, it looks very nicely soldered. Battery looks pretty good. So I tried to get this board out, but took these two screws out. And this thing is built so well, I couldn't even get it, so I didn't want to break it. But from this angle i can see how good and how nicely it's soldered over here this connectors nothing is flimsy they did good job on this board this from this side you can also see that everything nicely soldered seems like a very very build power bank and these batteries they also like glued in with this thing uh this is like a tape and but it's a two cells i think they're both 5000 each 5000 milliamp there you have it this is where our button is has a very good feel to it indication lights that's where the usb port is Yeah, definitely keeping this charger. Let's put it back together. I gotta put these tiny screws back in here. See guys, I always look on the inside of the product just to make sure there, there are no like a flimsy or like a poor quality like uh, soldering job. And you can tell a lot about a product if uh it's if the my the board nicely soldered with all those resistors as you can see here sometimes some of the electronics um that you open like especially the ones that are made in china you'll see that uh the board will have like too much uh, uh like a, what do you call lead and the connectors doesn't don't look nice but this they did a good job the battery look good and it's definitely i can tell it's a 10,000 milliamp because it has two cells there's one on top one on the bottom this is where our cables go in and look on the side here see i got this board out 
you could clearly see that little resistors there's a little microchip here very nice and neat connection everything nicely soldered on the board that's what i like about this there's some model number also i was telling you about this plastic clip you see here on the side here this little plastic clip so when you're pushing the charging port in it holds the cord inside so it's not coming out like when you shake it it's not going to come out so the cord nicely sitting hidden away and you pull it out and there you go this little part so um i am not going to take this battery out i don't want to damage this battery but it's solid it's sitting there like on this uh it's like a pad like this glue in here um nothing is moving around everything well designed compact uh this is a pretty light charger um very well built and i'm gonna put it back together the only thing i wish it did have it's like the USB-C port or some kind of port that I could charge it in case there's like no wall outlet or all I could find like USB-C uh, port. Uh, but unfortunately it doesn't have it. But what the good thing about this is also anywhere you go you see like a power outlet. Just plug it in and before you leave your home just take it with you and you're good to go. Plenty of power on the go. So I'm just going to put this back together. But I was very curious to see look at the battery and look what kind of uh, uh, board that it has inside so guys as you see it's a pretty good charger uh, at Costco price was amazing like 40 bucks and online you can buy it for like 75 still even for 75 I'd still buy it 10,000 milliamps it's plenty of power especially when you don't have it's so compact and you can plug it in anywhere um, definitely look into it uh, as you see it's well built and it's pretty solid good feel to it what else does it say here i don't know you can't add much into this review but i hope this review was helpful and if you have any questions let me know but uh we'll see how long this charger lasts So thank you for watching Nazareth's channel and I'm sorry if I don't have any car review videos for you today. Uh, nothing for my RAV4 but sometimes I do this like a quick product review on my channel and I thought this would be very helpful. As you see here I have my other charger which is amazing. It's a power jump starter. I did a review on this. I have this uh, power unit here. Uh, so I did some reviews on these products and I decided why not just you know give you guys a quick review of this power hub all-in-one portable charger review so this is a keeper and if you have any questions let me know but definitely check it out uh, if you have Costco go get one now while they still have these um, it has a very nice premium feel to it and I personal opinion think it's great so I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.